Welcome to Euros Tech here in Brazil. We're getting ready to step inside to meet my friend Christian and let me tell you something. This young man started this company when he was 18 years old. He had already been and lived in Taiwan and China speaking English. Went to IMTS when he was 14 years old. Can you believe that? But what's more dedicated? A company who says, I'm going to buy a plane so that I can fly my clients and make sure that someone who needs help, I can fly my colleagues out to their facility. A private jet to take care of you. Let's step inside, learn a little bit more about some of the machines that they are a part of because we have a story, and I'm gonna describe this on the way in as we have some amazing people to see on the way in. This is Bruna as well. As I mentioned, this is Euros Tech. But we're talking about a machine that has some of the best quality on the planet. And what would you do or what would you give if you could have micron and submicron precision for half the price of your normal machines you might think out there? Well, that's microdynamics. We're going to learn more about these machines and we're going to talk about four main topics today. Those will be the foundation of the machine, the spindle, the thermal expansion, and even a little bit about the overall speed torque capability as well. And I think I just said four, but we're gonna say five as well. The compact size, my friends, this is Christian. So good to see you. It's a pleasure to receive you here. Oh my gosh. So I, my mind is already blown to know that you said, I like my colleagues, I like my clients so much, I'm gonna buy a private jet. But we've already talked about that. The audience has already heard it. Let's talk about these machines, microdynamics understanding the quality that's been invested in these machines and that I could own a machine like this for a fraction of the cost of what I know these machines are capable of doing is the first mind-blowing thought process that goes through my head when talking to the audience out there. So let's start with the foundation. Perfect. What's the foundation like on these machines? Well, uh, this machine, actually the whole project, it's amazing, you know? Uh, so everything starts from the foundation uh, the casting of the machine. Uh, we, if we can see the naked machine without the enclosure, we can see that's completely different. Uh, it's a heavy, very robust uh, foundation, but at the same time, it's not only about heavy weight. You know, uh, we can see the project is very well done. It's a lot of engineering. So this is just a point that's hidden inside this machine, but the stability of the machine is great. So. One of the points is the foundation, but it's directly involved to the benefits of the also thermal compensation. That's something amazing from this machine too. Yeah, let's dive into that in just a second because I want to expand a tiny bit. When you have a good foundation, what happens? Well, what I've learned through my years of travel through all over the world, over 80 countries, is when you have a good foundation, this machine lasts more than a year or three years or five years. It can last for a lifetime, 20 years with the right base. So when you invest in something like this, you're investing for yourself and probably your children as well. That's what a good base will give, along with stability and rigidity and these things that we know are very important. It lasts longer. All right, thermal expansion, thermal stability. If we're running parts like I'm looking at right here, we might have very long cycle times. And thermal expansion is going to turn a good part into a scrap part. So let's talk about what you've done in order to have thermal stability inside this machine. Yes. Well, uh, this machine has a very uh, different than everything that I ever saw because I'm in this business for a long, long time. And when I was presented to the thermal compensation system uh, that we call thermal compensation, but it has a name, it's called DIPEC. So there is an algorithm inside and we have eight points of control, the temperature in this machine. So we control not only the spindle, but also the casting, and we can manage the temperature difference every 10 seconds, five seconds, or even one second. So the precision that we can guarantee with this machine, even without the linear scales, it's something that we never saw in any other brand before. So we tested a lot, we have all these uh, graphs inside the controller and we can see very clearly that the main difference from this machine to others since the time then when you turn on the machine the machine can guarantee the results to you even if you compare with eight hours later 24 hours 48 hours or no matter how long time so the result this machine is a kind of machine that does not need warm-up that's Amazing. very common something that 
most of the machines or almost every brand they request okay you need to warm up for five ten minutes you don't need to do that here because the result from the first moment from the first minute until the 24 hours later it will be the same guaranteed by the thermal compensation system so it's a very complex system but it's all controlled by the algorithm but that's i think that's for me is the main part of this machine that makes different from any other thing interesting to hear but also you're ruining my morning coffee break i used to <laughs> use that thir that warm-up time to go get my coffee while the machine warmed up you just took that from me by being perfect I'm sorry so Tony. thanks for that uh, yeah thanks for that all right let's talk about speed rpm capability mm -hmm. to go along with torque and horsepower because to my knowledge you typically have to sacrifice one for the other but you have not that's exactly so uh, here in brazilian market uh, most of the customers they always thought that you need to choose between speed or strength or uh, high removal rates and even for myself I, I learned this when i was younger that you cannot have both in the same machines but when you look to this spindle and this is a 31 kilowatts spindle 15 thousand rpm built-in and this is one of the options we have we have 18 and 20 thousand as well but when we, we can see the torque chart and we can see the how strong this spindle is built uh, we can have both of the best we can have high speed cutting for high finishing we have lots of customers for mold industry, mold and dye. So we need to keep the machine running for hours and hours in higher RPMs. We also have other customers uh, working with aluminum. So we also require higher RPMs. But what we mostly like to do is in the exhibitions and open house that we always present these machines from micro. We always have a piece of steel and a piece of aluminum. So most of the customers, when they are watching heavy cutting, they say, oh, but this machine is for heavy cutting, you cannot have a high speed. And then suddenly we just sh change from heavy cutting to high speed and also the opposite. So when they can see that we can cut even with uh, 20 meters, the cutting feed, because the rapid feed is uh, up to 52 meters per minute. So we can see those noise of the high speed milling on aluminum and then we uh, shift from that job to another one removing four or five millimeters depth in just one time it's amazing so i think another advantage of this machine uh, that most of the customers they can invest in one machine and no matter if you need to do high speed milling and finishing you also have a very strong and powerful machine if you need to have have cutting so we try to bring this advantage to our customers that okay you have one machine that goes completely different from any other thing that you always heard that you need to have a one machine for both we can have everything here christian you're making my job too easy because saying that was to my next step which is the footprint which you're already talking about two machines inside of one machine but this footprint itself i've seen machines twice its size that take up much more space and i don't know what the cost of real estate here is in brazil but i can tell you in the u.s and most places in the world it is expensive so saving space and getting more machines in a smaller area, very important to do more work in combination with what you just described. Yeah. Well, the footprint, you can see this is a machine with, uh, it's a five axis, but uh, without the five axis, this machine can reach up to uh, 1.2 meters X travel. So this is a quite, it's a big travel for Brazilian market. And this, the footprint of this machine compared with other brands, uh, most of the other brands with 800 millimeters it's even bigger than this one uh, if, if we look also the cheap conveyor the angle of the cheap conveyor is a higher angle and also it can save a lot of space for the ship tray uh, also we can move the ship conveyor from the left to the right so the machine is able it's capable to receive both directions so the idea of uh, small footprints small space we have many places in brazil that space is not a problem but we have uh, very compact workshops independent some regions and some areas mainly in the south and some parts here in Sao Paulo so the small footprint where we can uh, customers usually put two machines from other brands we can put three and if you look even the smaller machines it's mind-blowing their smallest machine that the travel is 760 
it's like 1.2 meters. So it's even smaller than a tapping center and you can have the same spindle, the same thermal compensation, same high removal rates and everything that you have in this big machine. It's all the same, no matter small, medium or bigger size. So I'm gonna tell you about a headache that most people don't think about until they've already purchased the machine and that's the conveyor, the chip conveyor you just described. Being higher is such a benefit because I know some folks who run late into the evenings, maybe through the night, and the bin is overflowing. They have to move chips, put the bin back, move it. I mean, that's a headache in itself. But I want to move on to partnerships. Now, mm -hmm. you are a great partner for so many people. You're a great partner for your clients. You have over 600 machines in stock mm -hmm. and ready to go. You're a great partner of Sinai, over 400 machines to help the education of Brazil. But also, right behind you is that gorgeous and beautiful power grip. So you're obviously a partner for Rego <laughs> Fix as well. What do you think the importance is when we've described everything that you just mentioned about this machine, the audience out there being able to purchase such a high quality machine, we're not gonna buy a Ferrari or a Lamborghini and not buy the tires, right? Exactly. So that's where this comes into play. What is this partnership like and what does the quality mean to the end user? Well, uh, I think that you already said it all. Uh, the machine is just one of the points, right? Uh, we are always here in Eurostack, our focus is to reach the highest satisfaction of the customers. So we, it's not only about the business, but it's uh, something that we are always trying to do better and better because we want to see our customers growing. And if we can do that, we know that they, uh, we create friendships and partnerships just the same as we have with Rigofix. Uh, what I mean is, I, can, I cannot have a Ferrari with a very bad tires, as you said. So our focus in Eurostack is the, just on machines. So, but we know that machine is just one part of the, the job. So about the clamping, about the cutting, about the software, uh, about the cams. So we always try to have the best companies in the world for each business together with us. So as they know that our focus is on the machines, I can have the best partners for the clamping, for the tooling, for the softwares, for the fluids, for everything. So Rigo, it's, it's just an amazing case for that. Uh, about their power grip systems, when we are always trying to make the demo cuts, no matter in exhibitions, in our showrooms that we have three in Brazil, uh, in our open houses, we are always trying to reach, to show the, to the customers what they can do. Really, they can do on daily basis in their workshop with our machines. But I cannot use simple and cheaper solutions, right? So here we are talking about our premium series. So, but the Rigo, they are a very good partners for many years with us. They are always close to us. They are always in the exhibitions and open houses here in our showroom in Sao Paulo too. So we know everything about the machine, but we are not the experts on the tooling and the clamping system. So we are always trying to bring the best experts to be close to us. So Rigo, it's a very uh, uh, successful case that we have. And one of the partnerships that we, uh, it's a long-term partnership already. And again, it's, we are so glad to receive you, Tony, here and with Rigo. That's an amazing job that you both do together in these days here in, in this week in Senai, also in Brazil. So to be able to be here and to say thanks to Rigo and our, all the partners that trust in us in Eurostack and they see in us uh, a, a good partner that are really focusing on the Brazilian market, trying to do as best as we can. You know, it's our country is different from any other country in the world. We have lots of opportunities in the same time that we have problems uh, and as any other country in the world. But we are always trying here to look for the best for, the, for our customers. And if we can do that, we are not only helping the customers, but the country, the whole country and the whole society. Amazing, Christian. So very well said. I believe you have a plane just out front, and I heard that the other building in the south is 25 times bigger than this one. So can we go? go. Yeah, right. <laughs>